So I've just driven an hour and a half and I'm now in Ambleside, which is on the shores of Lake Windermere. I've driven along Windermere for about five minutes <coughs> um, from the town of Windermere, which is in that direction. There's been fantastic scenes. You can see up there um, some uh, snow on the mountain tops and all that up there. And then you've got these um, steamers and what have you, or the boats that do the, the sailing on the on the uh, lake. There's not really anywhere to stop on the route uh, along the lake. So anyway, here luckily there's a little car park um, to just pulled into, just to, just to, so I could stop and just show you the like the boats and things. Uh, and the town of Ambleside is up that way. So it's a it's a big lake, but um, you don't get the perspective of it from this point. But I've been driving along it for quite a long way. Let's go and have a look down, down here. And we can go right down to the water's edge here. Ambleside Pier. And you've got these big lakeside buildings, steep hills up there. Yeah, so about half an hour or 20 minutes from where I need to be, which is Thirlmere. Uh, but I've just, you know, stopped here from ahead of time, really. So we're just having a quick look around. So there's like self-drive boats you can hire and things like that there as well. This car park here is totally flooded, look. And that building, it's a toilet block or something, totally flooded. Anyway, right, I'll uh, get back to the car and cut further up. So I haven't got time to explore Ambleside uh, town centre or anything, but uh, so the route has actually just taken me through um, Ambleside. So I've actually just found a little space down there, free parking. So just having a quick couple of minutes, just have a quick look. Uh, just really wanted to show you some of the, the settings. So you can see the snow up there. Uh, so this is Amble side. I've only going to do about four or five minutes here because I've got to get cracking on the rest of the route. So. I remember the smells of uh, cooking going on in some of these cafes and things. And then we've got the, uh, the stream running through the, the village. Yeah, so this is just a bit of it. I uh, just thought I'd take the opportunity just to stop because I saw a parking space. Uh, so there's the Army Museum, Gallery, and Library there. Quick shots that were on the outskirts of Grasmere. So I'm only 10 minutes away from where I need to be now. You can see a little bit of snow up there. What a fantastic scene. Just found this little lay by. I'm actually heading up that way. So this is Grasmere. Not the destination. The gates were locked, but I've so just parked in this car park next to it. I'll go back there in a second just to show you this. We've, I've just driven all the way up uh, here and then just come to here for a minute. But this is the big lake. It's actually very steep all around it. Thirlmere. It's got the dam at the end there. So 
this is the old sawmill where we just had the meeting, just here. And we're just going to drive down to another part of the reservoir. It's quite a setting, isn't it? That stuff over there. Oh, right. Wow. This was all black few years ago until the stocking densities come down and they're too vegetated now and they've got uh, planting here experimental that could be could be set up there some of the things Again, ours in Scotland, like Ben A and Craig Meggy, and places where they really have been successful. They've had to have full time people on it for years in order to get it to a stage where it's sustainable levels. because there's an idea that <coughs> might sample the soils and the water and stuff coming from this woodland compared to the non-woodland fields next to it. See the actively flowing little streams in there at the minute. Yeah. That's a good bit in there. So what we've done is we've just walked up the top there and then back around this side. Not, didn't go right up to the top where the peat is. Just walked down there. You can see quite a lot of sheep in the field down there now. Thanks. 